within the first three years, 95% of, of everyone who starts a, a service business dies within the first... Meaning their plumbing business their plumbing, fails. Right, dies within the first three years. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 418th episode of Potty Talk. Good to have you here. And hey, if, if, you're, if you're new to having a home service business, okay, mm-hmm. or, okay, or specifically, and you know, my thing is plumbing, all right, if you just started a plumbing business, mm-hmm. all right, you don't want to miss this episode, okay, because yes. by the time we get done here, mm-hmm. about 30 minutes, you're going to know exactly what you need to do to be successful, okay? Mm-hmm. If, if you've already are, do have a plumbing business or a home service business and just been struggling, all right, this still works for you, <laughs> okay, because you're probably not doing these things, all right, so you, within 30 minutes here, you're going to know exactly what to do too. If you've ever considered starting a home service business. <laughs> this episode's for you. Right. How's there that? we go. Okay. Everyone in the world, this episode's for you. How to start and grow a successful <laughs> plumbing business. <laughs> Seven steps for beginners. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. And again, this covers everything across the board. Mm. I mean, it, it all works whether you're, you know, you're HVAC, electrical, handyman. All the good home yard service care, businesses. All, like, all that kind of stuff. It, it's all the same. The stuff works the same. Yes. I'm, you know, I'm the million dollar plumber. Mm-hmm. We had our plumbing business for years. I've been in the plumbing trade. Oh, this is my 40th year. I know you said that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm old. I know. <laughs> okay. <kidding>. okay. So, <laughs> so plumbing's the thing mm-hmm. here, but it all works the same. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So let's get at it here. Okay. Okay. Cause we have seven, what seven steps. Seven steps. Well, I, I, I kind of, right. I, I threw, I threw one in here. So really there's eight. Oh, well, okay. Okay. All right, I threw one right, right here at the beginning. <laughs> Number one. Yes. All right. Go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash success. <laughs> All right. And, yes. and check out the Success Academy and grab your free trial to the Success Academy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why? Because look, you, you're 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 a great plumber. You're a great HVAC tech. You're a great you know lawn care. You care. Customers love you and all that. You're very good at your trade, mm-hmm. but what you're not good at is business. Okay. You haven't been taught the business. All right. And you don't know the business. Mm-hmm. All right. So you wouldn't expect to just, you know, as a plumber, walk in and, okay, you, you don't know anything about plumbing. He's going to walk in to plumb a house. Mm-hmm. That'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. But yet we think, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to start this, you know, plumbing business. Mm-hmm. And it's just, hey, what's, what's there to know? How, how, how hard, hard can that be? be? It's all it's about plumbing. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it ain't. Okay. In fact, you have a better chance. I mean, you wouldn't climb my, Mount Everest without a guide, would you? In fact, you wouldn't even think I wouldn't. I, I, with a guide, without I ain't climbing Mount Everest because people die. But you know the reality of it is, yes. less in the history, in the history of those climbing, and there's, there's now thousands, thousands have climbed Mount Everest. Mm-hmm. Okay, in the history of that, less than one and a half percent um, have perished or even found themselves in a difficult situation mm-hmm. on Mount Everest. Most people make it up and make it make it back down, right, mm-hmm. with a guide. Mm-hmm. Okay. Less than one and a half percent have had any kind of issues or all the way to perishing, mm-hmm. you know, dying on the mountain. Yikes. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. There was a famous movie or whatever, that yeah. doctor, which mm-hmm. is pretty sad, whatever. Yeah. Okay. That is e- extremely rare. Mm-hmm. You know what's not rare? What? Those who start a home service business die. Okay. <laughs> Within the first three years, 95% mm-hmm. of, of everyone who starts a, a service business dies. Within the first, meaning their plumbing business their plumbing, fails, right? Mm-hmm. Dies mm-hmm. within the first three years. Mm-hmm. Of those that survive, ninety-seven percent of those are simply doing just that, surviving. Right, and what, what does that look like? Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, they're they're chasing the money. Mm-hmm. All right, living week to week, paycheck working more to paycheck, hours. working more hours, mm-hmm. not paying themselves. Oh. Golly. So that they can pay, you know, the supply house, all that kind of stuff. Okay. That's 90, 97%. That means less than 1% actually have a, a real business mm-hmm. of everyone. said less than 1%. And it's not because they're not good plumbers right. or good HVAC techs or good la- at landscaping or good, good carpentry and all whatever. It's not that at all. In fact, they're great at that. That's what led you to start the business in the first right. place. One of the main reasons. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's because you don't know these things. Business. So right up front, I guess the number I'm telling you, go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash success and grab your free f- trial to the Success Academy. 
Okay. We teach all those things. All, all those things. Okay. And there's different levels. The business of plumbing. It's the business, right. Yes. Business of HVAC, the business mm-hmm. of carpentry, business. I mean, it's all the same. Okay. It's all the same concepts here. Mm-hmm. And what I'm going to share with you right here. Okay. okay? Mm-hmm. All right. So let's get at it. Okay. You're going to do, do that. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number two. All right. Mm-hmm. Know your honest hourly rate. Know why you're charging what you're charging. No, I, the I, pur- reason. I purposely mm-hmm. use the word honest. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because like, you know, we always hear, you know, I, I don't want to rip people off. Right. I don't want to charge that or whatever. Well, that's exactly what you're doing, ripping people off. If you don't know why you're charging what you're charging, mm-hmm. you are ripping people off. You are yep. stealing from your customer. Mm-hmm. More importantly, you're stealing from yourself. Yes. That's why you don't know, you, you don't have all your expenses and time and everything included in that. Mm-hmm. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't. Right. Mm-hmm. So knowing okay. your honest hourly rate, your true honest hourly rate, taking everything into consideration, because if you're not charging what you should be charging, it it's and you're losing money, which more than likely are, it, it now becomes a charity, right? Right, it's, and and a, or a hobby, it's more expensive like a, hobby, right? Mm. Okay, so. and, and you become a charity. You're going to need people to give you money. Mm. Just, I mean, not, I'm not talking customers. You, you're going to put your family in a position, which we see time and time and time again. Mm. All right. That's why, why you're struggling. Okay. Because you don't know why you're charging what you're charging. Right. Okay. Now in the success Academy, right. in first your 14 day free trial, you are going to grab your 14 day free trial because we go right into module one, which covers, we talk about money, but more importantly, we, there's classes in there with your honest hourly rate, right. In module one, right off the bat. Yep. It is and, a, a detailed calculator right. on, on how to determine and it's all you're putting in numbers, right? Are you doing it's entering num- in numbers? It's a, it's a spreadsheet, enter in the numbers right. and out pops what you your, need. your honest hourly rate. Right. So, all um, right. Yeah. It's, and it's very detailed and it, it's, um, it's a different way of thinking. It's a different way of thinking on how to charge. This isn't a job costing thing or, you know, pricing out certain jobs. That's, that's not, why, that's not right. what this is. Right. So, you think you come off and you were just charged. That's, that's the problem. You're just charging for the job. Mm. That's oh, why you're losing. Dead man okay. plumbing. Dead right. man you are plumbing. dead man plumbing. Mm-hmm. All right. Dead man cutting wood. Dead man, <laughs> you know, cutting yards. Whatever it is you're doing. All yeah. right. You're dead. Mm-hmm. Dead man painting. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. You got to know why you're charging what you're charging. Right. Okay. No, no more of just pulling. Well, this is what the other company where I worked at charged, and I take a little bit off, or asking the guys at the supply house, "What do you charge?" and getting a feel for things, or pulling out of your arse. Okay, whatever you think, you know, I think I can get this. Okay, whatever that is. Okay, you can't do that. Or, or prejudging as you pull up to a customer's right. house. Ooh, they've got a nice car, a couple of nice cars in the driveway. My hourly rate just, just went, went up. up. Right. <laughs> so well, you're still not charging enough. You're still not charging enough. <laughs> okay. Right. So mm-hmm. do it. All right. Know okay. your honest hourly rate. Okay. Number three, mm-hmm. stand out from the crowd. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got to stand out. That comes down to branding. Okay. It matters. It matters. Okay. The work, it, is, it ain't about the work. Mm-hmm. It ain't about the work. Okay. Customers purchase from those they know, like, and trust. Mm-hmm. And customers, all customers judge a book by its cover. Right, so you got to stand out, and you guys right. see it. Um, and you, you probably have one of those, you know, white vans with just some simple lettering or something on it with, with the name of your company and a phone number. Um, and the, you, you're just you're blending in with the crowd. You are just absolutely blending in with with the, every other car and truck driving down the street. Um, you have to stand out and, and your vehicles specifically is your best billboard. That is a, that is a floating driving billboard all around your community. So you need to be able to stand out. Okay. And it's a clear brand. Okay. And something greater than Joe's plumbing. Okay. Right. Not, not just your name, but something that ties you to the community and it's an intuitive. Okay. It makes sense. Not some abstract word. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, because really, it used to be a time when we had, you know, customer, your know, minds had three seconds would take three seconds. Now it's a split second. Mm-hmm. So when, when people look at your truck driving down the road, whatever, if, if, if the mind doesn't automatically know what that is, it not only just shuts off, ignores it, but it puts it in a file that says, don't ever, whatever that is, don't recognize it ever. <laughs> okay, and throw it in the dumpster. Because I mean, it doesn't mean anything. It to doesn't, me. doesn't I, mean anything. I can't, I don't relate to it. Right. So you've hurt yourself on the side. Even if they do see uh, the mind, it says that's not important. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it needs to be um, something that's uh, very intuitive, means that you can understand it very quickly. That's why. As far as your name. As far as your name. That's Mm -hmm. why it's something like, you know, our company was Attaboy. That meant something. Attaboy plumbing. It was very clear. It didn't take any kind of time to figure what what all that meant. Right. Okay. Uh, People don't know what a Joe's plumbing is. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Who's what Joe? Joe? Who's Joe? Why oh, do I so care? Might, right, 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 right. And then it's, it's obviously one. small because it's Joe. So right. it's just Joe. Uh, right. or, or words like quality. Quality. Something. That's, that's, it's just. It's, there's no emotion there. Yeah, it's just. It's bland. It's just total bland, right? right. Um, and you got to stay away from being. Um, you know, patriotic, patriotic plumbing, right? Or, or political. But I'm very. Those who know us personally know we're very. Um, pay, you know, we know what side of the aisle <laughs> or where we where we the stand. Side. Okay, right, right. <laughs> okay, but you don't. We don't name your your business that because no. people do have opinions. Even we're, we're people that are very strong in faith. We believe in Jesus Christ, and we know that's the way, and that's the way you're getting to heaven. Period. Okay, um, but we're not going to name our. You know, there's other people that don't think that way. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, one is agape plumbing, like agape, right? Um, and if you're if you know, you're not a if you're not a Bible believing Christian, agape may be like why? why that's what even, kind of word even, is that? Even they can say the word, I can't, right. So that's a great example, right? Doing you things know. like that, it just it doesn't make any it, it doesn't resonate with your community. Um, so renaming again. So if, if you if you are if your plumbing business is is your name, we're literally begging you. We're, we're literally begging you to change it. We've seen it. Well, my family has been. It's, well, I'm the third generation. Has been in our family forever. Mm-hmm. We've seen. We've actually have clients that work. I mean, that's the case. Mm-hmm. Hey, plumbing business owners, are you ready to break free from the daily grind and experience the ultimate retreat? Then join me, the million dollar plumber, along with the lovely Laura for the MDP Freedom Lifestyle Retreat nestled in the stunning paradise of Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. From May 15th through the 19th, indulge in an all-inclusive, all-adult getaway tailored exclusively for you. Picture this, luxurious accommodations, gourmet dining, and an array of activities await you in this tropical haven. But this retreat isn't just about relaxation. It's about business growth and networking with like-minded professionals. During your stay, gain invaluable insights, exchange ideas, and elevate your plumbing business to new heights. Connect with industry leaders, share strategies, and rejuvenate your entrepreneur spirits in an environment designed for success. Don't miss this opportunity to recharge, refocus, and reimagine your business goals amidst the breathtaking beauty of Punta Cana. Spots are limited, so reserve your spot now for the MDP Freedom Lifestyle Retreat from May 15th through the 19th, where relaxation meets business excellence. Book your escape today. Well, he's still in the truck. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. As soon as they change the name, all of a sudden he's out of the truck and there's more trucks. Yes. It's, it doesn't, you're not going to lose customers because you think, well, no one knows, oh, everyone knows it's our name. It's when, no, they don't. And it's probably better if you lose some of those customers right. that have been longtime customers that are expecting you to play, pay your old rates and you're, it's, and whoops, and actually money losing customers. But especially as we're talking to a guy that's just starting out here, here's a chance where you can plant a flag in your community. And yeah, Rotor Rooters and this other, you know, Ben Franklin's all been out there. Okay. Now all of a sudden you come up with, um, you know, um, I'm trying to think, uh, like St. Louis, you know, if it's the uh, uh, St. Louis, you know, Arch Plumbing or something. Archway and, Plumbing. Archway mm-hmm. Plumbing, and it's it's the Arch or what? I, I'm mm-hmm. trying to think whatever it represents your community. Right. All right, and it looks branded like it's all of a sudden they think you've been there forever. Yes. And there's an positive emotion there. And it's yeah, quality, mm-hmm. all those but, things. Also, right. if you if it is a plumbing company that you've got, just leave the word. You know, if it's Attaboy Plumbing, don't have Attaboy Plumbing drain. and Drain Cleaning, right? Um, I, I know the reason you guys want to differentiate or, or to make known, right? But in the consumer's mind, in Mrs. Jones's mind, if she sees the word plumbing, she's going to assume it's drain cleaning, right? And so just to have those extra words, it just, it just does, doesn't need to be there. It, that, like, and it adds confuses. Confusion. It, it adds confusion. It adds confusion. Mm-hmm. So do they do that? Well, I wonder if they do my kind of drain. Well, right. I mean, it's, it actually, that's how the customers think. Yeah, so leave it generic. Leave like, it open. Again, you know, I, this is my 40th year. Mm-hmm. I've been saying out in these sets, I've been, you know, I'm mm-hmm. in my 40th year. I'm mm-hmm. kind of celebrating. We should have some <laughs> in the trades. Okay. Okay. And so I've seen I'll this. Make you a cake. Okay. <laughs> Came like a toilet cake or something in the shape of a, I know. <laughs> a toilet, I don't know. And, <laughs> and it's chocolate. <laughs> right. Okay. okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's Sorry. move on. Okay. <laughs> You know, things, you know, music has changed, uh, you know, clothing has changed, all that kind of stuff has changed, but these things have never changed. They haven't changed, mm-hmm. okay, of what, how customers feel. Right. Feel about things. Exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, okay. all right, stand out from stand the crowd. Stand out from the crowd. All right. And it's so important. You can, again, as a little guy just starting out, you can look like a big guy. Right. Okay. Immediately. Mm-hmm. Immediately. Yep. All right. With the right branding. Okay. Next, number four, get on Google. <laughs> 
Get on Google. And we did talk about this in the last episode really in more detail. But, yeah, get on Google, um, especially um, Google My Business. Guys, it's super easy. you got to be there. You can do it yourself. You've got to get on Google My Business. And then also the next step would be get on Google Local Service Ads, um, the, the Google Guaranteed, the green check mark. You want to get on that, too, because that's where the customer is going yep. to find you. Once, you. once they've seen that wonderful truck going around with a memorable brand or they, they've seen you at the, the gas station with the uniforms and all that, um, you're – you're going to be top of mind to them. And so when they do go to search for a plumber and they always search plumbers near me, you pull up and they recognize right. you. It becomes, oh, customers buy from those they know, like, and trust. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So part of that, that knowing and liking is your brand. Okay. They feel like they know you. They, they like you because it's just, you know, Hey, it's cute kitten plumbing. <laughs> Someone, you know, I, I, I like the cat. Said that so many times. Someone <laughs> is going to name their, their business cute you know, kitten plumbing. Cute kitten plumbing. <laughs> All right. Please People would like that. that, you know, but it's, but yeah, you know, but Please that's don't. so much <laughs> better than, you know, um, John Smith's plumbing. Yeah. John Smith's plumbing or warrior plumbing or, you know, yeah. Quality plumbing, or, you know, yeah. all that kind of, it, 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 it pigeonholes you even based on even your, um, you know, kind of where your family's from, you know, from something that leans towards being heavy Latino. Okay. Which we have, we have a lot of clients, you know, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Well, then you're kind of saying that's who we serve. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Even with, let's like veteran. I'm a veteran or whatever, but to say, you know, call it veterans, veteran plumbing. You only serve veterans? There's it, it, like a sense that I'm only speaking to those, mm-hmm. to veterans. Right. All right. So you just got to be aware of these things. I know it may not sound fair or there might be, you know, because we're so, so, you know, we're so afraid of offending, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. But there's just a reality there is the reality of how things work. Mm-hmm. And this is part of it. You want everyone to feel like they can call you. Right. That you serve them. There's a community thing. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. So, so get on Google. Get on the Google. Okay. Five. Googly. Mm-hmm. Customer service representative. CSR. What, CSR. 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 Get yourself a CSR. Okay. <laughs> For you guys starting out, if, if your wife, okay, comes along with the family business. Mm-hmm. All right. There's more money. Don't whatever we hear all the 401k and she's got a career unless she's really into, you know, she's a doctor or something. I mean, she's (laughs) gone, whatever. Okay. And that's her career. Mm -hmm. Really what you're trying to do is create a family asset, family wealth, Mm -hmm. right? There's no, there's no better way than having your own service business, your own plumbing business. In fact, today, as we record right now, the way the economy is and all that, Mm -hmm of all the investing, all the big money is not investing in real estate or gold or stock. I mean, the big money, they're looking to buy. That's why profitable service, pro- profitable businesses. service businesses. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's the, it's the best, it's the best money. It's the best investment. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so getting for, somebody to answer your phone other right. than you um, and, and ideally it's your wife, right? Um, if, if it can't be your wife for whatever reason, then get some, someone um, to answer your phone um, other than you, because other you, than you, you're the worst person. You're the worst person the answering worst the, person phone. the phone. Well, I'm able to sell it. And they like, no, no, you can't scale that. You, yeah, right. You'll, you'll be doing that then until the day you die. Right. You, right. you can't, you can't scale that. I mean, mm-hmm. you can't grow that. You won't ever get out of that. Right. Okay. Yeah. So getting, He's, getting a CSR that um, knows how to answer the phone. And we've got lots of uh, podcasts um, talking about that very thing, you know, not solving their problem over the phone, but getting a technician out to their home. And that's, that's, that's what it's all for about. For starting out, that's a, that's a heavy topic to training in the Success Academy. It's a heavy topic of training. I mean, okay. Yes, and it's is. not, it's, it really is simple. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you break it down on how to do it. You don't need, you don't need someone who knows plumbing because it ain't about plumbing <laughs> it, or it ain't about cutting grass. It ain't right. about, it's just, it's, it's customer service. It's getting someone um, scheduled, get them on the schedule to get them taken care of today. That's what right. matters. Yes. Okay. CSR. Mm-hmm. Get your, get yourself a CSR. Get, get off the, some. yeah, get you off the, get off the phone, man. Yeah. Okay. You're <laughs> killing yourself. Hey, got something for you for joining us here today. Check it out. Hey, question for you. Where do you want your plumbing business to be this time next year? Stuck on the same dead end road, puttering along in a slow lane as life passes you by? Or are you ready to supercharge your plumbing business and put the pedal down in the fast lane to success? Hey, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, here to tell you that you'll do just that with my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success, where I lay out the exact mile markers you got to hit in order to have, manage, and grow a high octane plumbing business with lots of great customers a crew of plumbers eager to ride alongside you and plenty of money in the tank. Now, you're going to want to buckle up because my roadmap ain't just some guy. 
It's the GPS to having a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. So click the link or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash roadmap to grab your free copy of my 2024 Roadmap to Plumbing Business Success. And let's roll. All right, welcome back. Hey, we're talking about uh, how to start and grow a successful plumbing business or, or any home service business for yes. that matter. Seven steps for beginners. If I started out, I threw, I threw an extra step in there right mm-hmm. at the beginning. Mm-hmm. All right. Go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success and grab your free 14 day trial to the success Academy. Get yes. you in mm-hmm. by bottom line. We get you right into module one, mm-hmm. which we go right into the next thing that I said, you, you must know about your honest hourly rate. We mm-hmm. cover that right off the bat and you can mm-hmm. use the calculator and determine your honest hourly rate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. Then also, you know, uh, staying stand out, out from, from the, the crowd, stand out from the crowd. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very vital. Okay. All right. And get on Google, get yourself a customer service rep, a CSR, mm-hmm. someone other than you answering the phone. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Next six. All right. Okay. Flat rate pricing. Okay. Okay. The world is flat. <laughs> flat rate price. That is okay. Mm-hmm. We live in a flat rate pricing world. Sure do. All right. We're not a time and material world. You don't go to Walmart. Okay. And, you know, I, I buy my, um, you know, my Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Pop-Tarts, whatever. <All> right. <laughs> buy my, your, your, I was going to say jar of pickles because that's what you always use, but okay. uh, in your scenarios, pickles. but you don't even eat pickles. Right. So, so I wanted something I eat. How about TVs? Okay. We don't, you know, TVs, it's, oh, it's not broken well, it's down. Great. Right. So even TVs, it's not broken down in the time and material. Mm. How much time it took to to do the different sections and then what the different, you know, what the glass cost and the, you know, the, the digital stuff cost and the plastic cost and whatever. It wasn't all broken down. It was not. That is not, there's nothing, there's nothing in our society, in our customer experience where it's broken down time and material. Right. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. That's a different experience for the customer. Okay. So when we're breaking things down time and material, first of all, you're setting yourself up because by the way, it's always expensive. 40 years, I've, I've seen all the customers for 40 years, throw up, cry, kick us out of the house, whatever, <laughs> over $50, okay, back in 1983, 84, I mean, all right, $50 job, $50, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't make $50, I don't make $50 either, <laughs> okay, all right, it's, so it's always, because they don't want to spend the money, no one wakes up in the morning and wants to, you know, call a plumber, or you, for whatever, you know, right. they, they don't, nope. all right, so they don't want to spend the money, so, where they're already nervous and we want to make the, the buying experience as common and as comfortable as possible. Yes. And flat rate pricing is the common experience. Yes. Think All about right. even if you go to the dentist, the dentist doesn't break down the cost of the cleaning or, you know, filling, right? He doesn't break it down. And well, this much is for labor and this much is for the fluoride. And this is much as for, you know, using the equipment to polish your teeth or they don't, they don't do that. Um, you go to the car wash, they don't right. break it down. You know, they, they've got three options, but they don't break it down between, okay, this is the cost for the suds and this is the cost for right. for labor. This cost for the water. They don't do that. Go to Taco Bell. A- anywhere. I mean, there's anywhere. just, it, we are a flat rate um, community, community, or uh, flat rate, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Flat rate society. I mean, yeah. it's, just, it's just the way it is. So we, as a, a home service business, we need to, to be the same. Um, so. so it's just stupid. I'm going to say it. it's just stupid. To give time and material. Well, that's how we've done it. That's what the customer is asking for. No, because it's, you haven't trained them well. You, right. You haven't, you haven't provided them. Because you're this. stupid. I mean, being, <laughs> we're doing a stupid thing by giving time and material. Mm. All right? Because then the, you set yourself up for the customer to shop you. Because you're going to say, you're never going to, you're not worth anything. Mm-hmm. Brother, you're not worth anything <laughs> for what you're doing. Okay? Hold on clarify that. Well, I know you're worth something, but the customer doesn't think you're worth it. So when, when you say I'm charging $125 an hour, when they figure that out, which is way too low, by the way, oh, you're dead man. Plumber you're you're right. You need twice as much as that at for at least. Okay. But you're going to be 125. So it's so $250 an hour. No way. Our clients, by the way, that are successful and doing, I mean, in BFE, they're in the middle of nowhere or charging over $500 an hour. Okay. But it's, because yeah. it's what their business needs. It's what the right to okay. be successful and also to make a profit. To attract people and to pay guys and all that kind of stuff. That's just right. the reality. Mm-hmm. But the customer is going to say one hundred twenty-five dollars an hour. I don't make one hundred. I don't make one hundred twenty-five dollars an hour. Mm-hmm. I don't either. And then you say for this part, what's as soon as they know how much that part costs, what are they going to do? Now mm-hmm. we can go on and Google, Google. Amazon. <laughs> that part's only this much. Well, right. but 
Well, I had to get the party. I mean, it doesn't right. matter. You, you can't. You can't argue with that. Mm-hmm. You you can't. Nope. Okay. All right. So you, you set yourself up for an uncomfortable situation. You've also made it about plumbing. I mean, that's something we haven't. You know, you've probably heard me say before. It ain't mm-hmm. about plumbing. Or it ain't about cutting. It ain't about the thing that you're doing. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's about the experience. Right. So that's what you're charging them for, the experience. Exactly. And so you're giving them the TV, you know, for $495. You mm-hmm. get this 65-inch TV or whatever mm-hmm. for $495. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. Not broken down in all the parts. Right. Okay? Exactly. Yep. Okay, okay, so flat rate pricing. Flat rate pricing. Mm-hmm. All right. right. Number, what are number, we on? Number seven. So I threw that one at the very beginning, okay. so it throws it off. Okay. Number seven. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Number but seven. But it's calling this seven steps. Well, seven <laughs> plus one bonus, which I, I know I threw, I kind of threw that in at the beginning because that just, I just want to get at it instead of making it sound like, look, if you're, if you're starting out, you need to be taught. Okay. If you're struggling, you need to be taught. You want to, you want to learn, you're either serious about learning you're or you're scared. not, mm-hmm. or you want to whine and cry, whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. But if, you, if you're ready to move on, mm-hmm. the million dollar plumber.com forward slash success, everything's okay. there you need. Okay. So that's why. All right. Okay, that's why. So, Got all right. It. All right. So number, number seven. Okay. okay. <laughs> Provide options. Provide options. Options to your customers. It's, it's also, we're in an option world. Yes. Don't paint your customer into a corner. Right. right. And like I just talked about it, I'm going to, um, um, the car wash yep. place, right? I mean, if you guys ever go to the car wash, you pull up and you've got three options right there, right? Do you want it? Do you want regular? Do you want to add suds? Do you want to add super suds or whatever <laughs> it might be, right? Um, and and that's that's normal in our society. Well, providing what, the options. One thing, a key right there. Well, you know, well, I'm just I just want to tell them what I'm. I want to be fair. I don't want to rip people off. I just want to tell them what the problem is. Like, no, people are used to having having choice. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when they call us, they don't want to call us. They're, they're, things are out of control for them, okay, because they don't want someone in their house. Mm-hmm. They don't want to deal with this. We're not, deliver, we're not delivering pizzas or flowers or doing something fun, mm-hmm. okay? So they're out of, everything, they're day, everything's out of control. We want to give the customer the control back, mm-hmm. okay? All right? A comfortable customer is a buying customer. An uncomfortable customer is going to say stuff like, I need to talk to my husband, right. or I'm just calling around getting prices right. or whatever. Mm-hmm. That's what they're saying is I'm uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Okay, they've already decided. If they called you. They've al- they're already sold. It's us that screw it up, and we screw it up by going in there and saying, "Well, here's what, here's what it is. It's a million dollars to get this taken care of." Mm-hmm. And even if you said fifty bucks, that what they heard was a million dollars, <laughs> because it's one thing they want to say no. That's the lo- and It doesn't make logical sense. Mm-hmm. We think it'd be fifty fifty. Yes or no? It's not. It's more like ninety ten. Mm-hmm. They're looking for a reason. They want something to say no to. Right. And they feel painted um, in a corner. You've, right. All you've done is given them one option. Right. And then also it may just be something that's, you know, a relatively simple fix, you know, a flapper or whatever um, in the toilet. But giving them options um, allows them to decide, you know, this toilet's been driving me crazy for a while. Maybe they might want to replace it. Let And, and you're not... You're, you're providing them um, choice that right. they get to decide. They're the ones that can look at the three different options that you're giving them and they can decide. Maybe they're, oh yeah, just it's just a flapper. Yeah, just fix the flapper. Or, you know, maybe something where, you know, all the all the guts, you know, a minor rebuild or something on the toilet needs to be done and you're offering that or replacing the toilet. It's not, you're not, you're not going in um, and then, you know, it, it, you know, it's the flapper and you go right to, I'm going to sell this person a new toilet. They don't trust that either, no. right? Give them the option. Let them know exactly what's going on. Give them some options on, on, on what they, so what they want to do. So it's going to be based on their budget, um, on other circumstances. Again, they were like, man, this toilet has been driving me crazy for a while. I, I'm just going to replace the whole thing, but they're the ones that get to decide. Right. And then also gives price perspective, which we talked about right. a number of times. So, and of course we go over that heavy, heavily in the success Academy. Okay. But that the option thing is key. Yes. Making the customer feel comfortable, giving them a choice, and three options. We'll leave it at the three options. Yes, three okay? options. Okay, we are a good, better, best world too. Good, better, okay? best. We're not. It's not. It's not two. You know, it's not four. It's not our super duper. You know, earth saving water softener system, and I'll throw in the flapper for free. <laughs> okay, nope. It's three options: good, better, and best. And what happens is what I call the Goldilocks syndrome. Remember Goldilocks and the Three Bears? <laughs> I've seen it for 40 years, guys. 40 years. All right? Take it or leave it. All right? The Goldilocks syndrome. All right? This one's too hot. This one's too hot. This one's too cold. But this one is just right. Okay? <laughs> and it's the middle one. Okay? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just, it's psychologically how it works. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. And then a large percentage will also move up to, no, I'll go ahead. And, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and replace the toilet because they are in control. they yes. they get to choose, even though that's not what they were planning on doing. They're in control. Yes. And you're right. serving them well at that point. You're not making the decision for them. You're serving your customer fully at that point. You, you're the, the professional in the home, right? You're the professional and they're relying on you. So if you're giving them options, you're serving them the best. Some, sometimes you guys think, well, the best way to serve them is just to, to do as little as possible, you know, put a Band-Aid on this and charge them, you know, just a few bucks and be on my wary way. No, that's not serving them best. There, it's, it, it's not because it could be, there could be a, a, an underlying problem or it could be something they just don't want to ever deal with again. Right. Who are you to say what's best for their home? Exactly. So, so at, at the very least, you're behaving unprofessionally mm -hmm. because you're not giving them the options of what they can do in this situation. Mm -hmm. Now, notice it's not selling. In fact, we go we, like in the Success Academy, you learn that only sales training you and your techs will ever need. You don't need special. Uh, that's a gimmick. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's face it, home service companies are a dime a dozen. Mrs. Jones has many to choose from. It may not be PC, but she does judge a book by its cover. That's why there's Kick Charge, the industry's leading and most awarded branding and truck wrap design agency who has been instrumental in getting home service providers noticed for over 20 years. And right now, Kick Charge is offering a $500 rebate to all Potty Talk listeners. To get more information, go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash kick charge and start getting noticed today. If, if you do this kind of thing, if you put the customer in control, all right, mm -hmm. and you notice is what we call staying in the lane. So it's like it's within a toilet. It's, I didn't offer, you know, a water softener when Mrs. Jones was calling about a tinkling sound from the toilet. Mm -hmm. They don't trust that. Right. Okay. But they, mm -hmm. they may be thinking, you know, when you mentioned the toilet, well, I'm not going to buy your new toilet, but I, but they, I understand why you're offering me a new toilet because you're dealing with my toilet. Right. Okay. Makes so, sense. so the trust stays there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's so important just providing options you know, just providing options, you can watch. In fact, I just heard from one of our, one of our members in a success academy posted something. They just started providing options. And that very week, they doubled and in some cases tripled their average ticket mm -hmm. just by providing options. Right. Amazing how that works, you know. Crazy. And it had happy customers. Mm -hmm. You get customers giving you five stars and thank you for taking care. I mean. Because they felt like they were in control. Right. Bottom line. So, uh, bottom line, there we all go. All right, last okay. one. Last one. Mm -hmm. Last but not least. Okay. okay. <laughs> In fact, this is as important as the first thing I mentioned. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you started. They're all important. They're, they're, they're all, they're all right. important. Yes, they are. Okay. But this one, okay. All right. All right. What is it? Ready? Mm -hmm. like, I almost want to drum roll. Go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Collect today. Collect today. Collect payment today. Get the money in the bank today. <laughs> Collect today. Don't bill. Don't. Not, don't. not, not invoice. Not. Right. I mean, um, first of all, we're talking about the comfort of the customer. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere the customer, customer pays today. Can you walk into Walmart <laughs> and say, uh, I'll, you know, send me an invoice. Send me an invoice. Mm -hmm. Can you? Taco Bell. Can you go to, yeah, Taco Bell. Can I walk <laughs> into Taco Bell? They wouldn't, I mean, they, they already think, mm -hmm. you, know, you know. Your car repair. I mean, you go to get right. tires or something on your car. Do you say, send me a bill? Send me a bill. I'll pay in 30 days. And it just doesn't happen. Right. So yeah, collecting today. Stop acting like a bank. Um, stop act, act, acting unprofessional. Also what happens mm -hmm. is if you don't collect today, and you send them the bill, all of a sudden, the the pain of whatever the plumbing issue they had is gone. And so now they all of a sudden get this bill for whatever the price was, even if they chose that price, even if you did provide options and they chose it, all of a sudden, that price just looks ridiculous. And they're going to go talk to their neighbors, their uncles, their butchers, yeah. their, all the things. Right. And they're going to be told how they got My, my cousin's off. monkey's uncle <laughs> did it, can do that for half that. Right. And then you're yeah. chasing your money. You're chasing your money. Right. It's it's not important to them anymore. If the plumbing issue is gone, you repaired it. it um, the the it, it's not important to them. So they may or may not ever pay it. And so you know you get a few few of those out. You know four hundred dollars here, six hundred dollars there, or whatever. Are you really going to go to um, small claims court to try to get that money back? Well, you, it don't work that way. I don't right. It don't work that way. So the easiest, most professional, and the best for the customer, not only for you but for the customers, to collect right at the time of service. As soon as the job is done, you're collecting. So, right. And also too, I'm sorry to keep taking a breath. I want to say something. Also making sure that your CSR, which you, we've talked about, and you get a CSR, um, that they mention that as they're wrapping up the call. Um, and just to, to let you know, Mrs. Jones, um, payment is due at the time of service and we do accept cash, check, um, and um, and major, all major credit cards. So it sets the the, um, the tone, the tone the expectation. for expectation thing. It sets right. the expectation that they need to pay 
when the job is done, right? So don't, and then don't feel bad. I know a lot of guys, oh man, I hate collecting. I hate going and ask for money. Oh my goodness, it's your business. You got to collect the money, right? You, you got to collect the money um, right then. And then what it does for you, you have money right then. That's what's the, the beauty of having a home service business when you collect at the time of service. Right. Well, you made the statement of, you know, acting like a bank, you know, and what you're doing is you're financing. That's why when we start out, a lot of us start out in new construction, and that's why a lot of the businesses fail right off the bat. First of all, it's the wrong we customer. You can't, we all do, right. Mm -hmm. But your, your behavior, you know, you, we, we just have stupid written on our forehead. Mm -hmm. Stupid sucker. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that's what the, that's what they see. Because you, you pay for all the materials and the labor, labor. and everything. Mm -hmm. And they pay you somewhere down the road. Mm -hmm. So you're financing, Maybe. they make all the money. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now you're chasing it. Right. And then you're chasing, um, you're change, chasing work, um, change orders, right. things like that. Right. Okay. I was going to cut you a check, but we've got a couple of changes that need to be done and whatever. Right. right. It's, you, that's, it's, it's a lose, you lose, can't, lose, you, lose, you can't, lose. You can't beat it. Mm -mm. Right. And so you know, I'd much rather have $500 today. And five thousand dollars promised next week. Cause you're Period. Because you're probably going to get it. right. Cash flow is king. Mm -hmm. Cash flow is king. Get the money in the bank. Yes. Right. So making sure that you do um, can offer um, credit cards because most people want to pay for the credit cards. Right. Um, so or debit card or whatever it might be. So make sure you've got you know the little swipe thing or um, yeah, I mean there's square. I yeah, mean there's, there's square. I mean it's there's. It's, it's super cheap. And yes, you're going to pay a merchant fee, right? You're going to pay somewhere between, you know, two, two and a half percent, depending on, you know, if you're lucky, you can get it um, under one. So you're going to pay, but that's the convenience of it, right? And and that cost needs to be included in that's what you learn your honest, honest hourly, hourly rate, rate, right? All the customer pays for everything. Pays for everything. Customer pays for everything. Because mm -hmm. that's what okay. you're probably not allowing for too in your business. If you do accept all, credit cards, if you're not, if you don't know your true honest hourly rate and all the expenses that go into it, that those figures, those numbers can add up. Every little number adds up. And so all of a sudden you're like, man, why am I not making any money? It's all those little things. Why does it feel like, you know, one step forward, two steps back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? Right. Okay. okay. All right. That's there we good. go. All so seven plus one steps. Okay. <laughs> Which leads me back to the one step. You want to, if you truly, look, if you truly are starting out, you don't know this stuff and this stuff will kill you. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's simple, but you don't know the ins and outs of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. If and you're struggling, okay. If you are started and, and you're struggling, it's because you're not, you, you don't know this stuff. You're not doing this stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again, it's simple, but you don't know it. All right. Now you have no excuse not to know it. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very, very affordable. The million dollar plumber.com forward slash success. Okay. Grab your 14 day free trial. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, do it today. No excuse. Do it. Okay. okay. All, All right. right. Good one. There we go. Seven plus one steps. That's it. Okay. And you'll be a success. <laughs> All right. Overnight success. It's that easy. All right. <laughs> hey, before we let you go, our time is up. I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. <laughs> Bye, everybody.